Hello everybody, how's it going? So let me show you what I got here guys. These are gooseneck microphones by DPA. I bought them last month and I haven't been able to use them on a film, but today we're gonna listen to them in a motorized vehicle, my vehicle. Right now you guys are currently listening to a Lavalier microphone, a DPA 6060. I'm trying to think, where should I go that will have some privacy? Ba -da -ba -ba. Grab that baby. The main reason why I bought these microphones is because I wanted to use something different than a lavalier microphone. The great advantage of having a plant mic is that the sound is not gonna be compromised by anything. One example is my seat belt right now. I had to put it up higher so it's not touching the microphone. Let's say in the scene, this person has to move and talk and say things, right? So it will not be the cleanest and it will not be a consistent microphone. So that's why I wanted to buy the plant mics. I love everything DPA makes. I think it's one of the best companies out there. Is this distracting, guys? That's a win for everybody. I'm just gonna park right here. Like I was saying, we're currently in my car. You guys are currently listening to a DPA 6060. It's a body microphone. And what I'm gonna do right now, I'm gonna be planting a microphone in this car. Yeah, it's just basically gonna stay here like so. Pack it up, pack it up, let me begin. This is also my first time doing this. And I'm just gonna use this call. This is called snot tape. I'm gonna put it on the transmitter. We need one more piece. I put this snot tape at the back of the transmitter. It's gonna give it a nice little shake. You guys can see it right here, right? But let's say the frame, and that way you guys cannot see the microphone, but you hear the microphone. You know what yet I'm saying, dog? Okie dokie. Planting a vehicle, a moving vehicle is, a, is ideal. I'm gonna test how this one sounds while we're moving. My goal with this is I want to know how noisy it gets. So far so good, I don't think none of the rumble. Be as brave as you can, get as close as you can. You guys are currently listening to the sound of my gooseneck DPA microphone. Now I'm just gonna be quiet so you guys listen to the road. You don't have to have a plant mic. To rig of a car scene you could also use a lav you could also use a small carioid the shot is like this it has to be this wide what can we do in front of the thing so we put the mic in here that's another approach and this one also sounds kind of nice right in front of the visor right in front of the the dashboard let's see how that sounds i'm gonna try to have a little bit also another tip guys for you guys when you're driving Make sure the keychain is not really noisy like this one, because that's always a problem. There are no rules when it comes to planting a microphone. If it's out of the frame, you're good to go. If it's out of people's equipment, if, if it's not mounted into people's equipment, you're good to go. Healy ba healy ba healy ba nilly. Pro tip, make sure you guys kill your AC when you guys are shooting a video in a car, okay? Uh, let me know what you guys think about this DPA gooseneck, gooseneck microphone. I think it's gonna come in handy sometimes. It's just another tool that is gonna help me capture good location sound in the field. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys pretty soon.